why aren't you, why don't you have the king, King Alexander as your king? Well, here's what happened. Apparently, a lot of my more recent saves keep getting corrupted, and, and I can't use them. Fortunately, we should be able to continue, and I'll eventually get back to the point that I was. What was that? So, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm, I'm really sorry about this. I really am. Because, I don't know why it's getting corrupted. You know, I'll save the files, then I go back and some of them aren't usable, even after a little while. And they are all just default switch to January 1st, 1936. So, I have no idea what's going on. If any of you can help me out, I'd, I'd greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Anyway, so, um, yeah, we're, we're doing it. So, we're continuing on the Regency of Ya Boy with the amazing mustache. Be there? Boy, if enjoy it. Now, as the video title suggested, yes, I will be invading Bulgaria. And alright, who's the loop on Oh yeah, oh wait, they haven't even finished the great debate. Oh my god. Once again I'm terribly sorry. Argentina. Oh yeah, I forgot. Argentina. Wow, look at that. You know what? I think this is one of the mods that changed South America most than the majority of other and also, China has been changed a lot. So, and Qing, and Qing, as it's pronounced. Um, I think, yeah, I think they will be forming the League of Five Provinces. So, it's like, it's like, it's just like a bootleg, I don't know, maybe it's just like a um, downgrade from the League of Eight Provinces. Who knows, maybe if you take over all parts of Chinese land, you can become League of, of China. China. And since we don't have to go through the whole Black Monday thing, probably because this focus tree hasn't been updated in a while, we don't have to worry about the whole, well, we, don't, we just don't have to worry about one thing. Black Monday. And sometimes I do hope that um you do that maybe I know I know that the developers are working hard and their efforts are kind of strained by the whole um, virus. But still, I hope eventually like more countries will get focus trees and I do hope that we that we that when this is over. how so many of the more smaller countries have depth focus trees. Why doesn't Afghanistan have one? That, I wish that Afghanistan oh, okay, they made it. So come on. Come on. province. Go on, do it for the, the union of five provinces. I'm gonna need a war industry. I'm really sorry. I'm deeply apologizing Seeing for all this, because this is my fault and I know it. Or maybe it's something with my computer, but don't worry, we can get back to that point. Now, I'm gonna say, to me it's important that you save optimally, because if these files keep getting corrupted, I don't wanna have to, I don't wanna have to, I don't wanna be forced to restart the series. And if I do, and if I really do, I really have to then. Oh my god, they elected ISP as their game on their way. 
I see some kind of resemblance to ISP. I don't know, he looks like someone. He looks like someone. Alright, and... Here we go. Now, Bulgaria has a large military, and that's kind of a problem. Fortunately, while well, Greece and Romania are on their side. Now, Greece? Greece usually doesn't do well. And Romania... Romania can definitely help in our efforts to kind of... Defeat them. But we also have to get an event, the race to Macedonia, so we're gonna have to capture that pretty quickly. What else? Um, so, once we've captured Macedonia, we'll go... Uh, we'll go... Once we've captured Macedonia, I'll send some of my troops up north into Romania, because once we capture Sofia, the capital will go somewhere to there, so hopefully we can take that. We'll defeat Bulgaria, we'll get the peace tree, take the peace tree, because I want to have to deal with, um, occupation. When all of that's done, we turn up north and we go fight the Austrians. go off on the Austrians. I'm hoping for the Austrian, Austria, Austria. Renegotiations of 1937 ends with begins with Hungary kind of trying to leave the sphere of influence because now I can actually get Macedonia. Oh yeah, and I need that sweet sweet sea access. Okay, so we're getting close. Now I want to. I'm gonna go with Yugoslavia because more territory. And in the hope that I will have to eventually invade Yugoslavia. Hopefully I can use my army and also my allies to help me out. We also, we need some new aircraft. So, may eventually have a few problems, but for the most part, things are going alright. I love looking at this, and I've got to find it interesting. Oh, great, Italy has gone on fast. Well, 
not fascist in this world, it's nationalism. Lewis, what's Sicily doing? Not much. Sardinia? Not much. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's the Guangxi. There's Guangdao Creek. The Guangxi military government. I swear to god, this guy looks familiar. sound really it's interesting. I'm just really bummed out about the fact that um, I've lost all my save files. I'm really sorry. I'm trying not to save as often. Usually because I'm just really So it's December. Focuses for now because I got crowned like a king. But we're surely progressing. Now, one thing I do know the Ottomans are gonna get beat down, and maybe if I play as Greece one day. Oh no, there are a lot of nations in Kaiserreich and Hoyfort in general that'd be really interesting in a playthrough. Now we won't get the Guangxi clique. We got the Yunnan leader, this man, this Xing, Shang Huan, Shangxi, the Qing, the Hunan. Really sorry to anyone who's watching this from China if I'm offending you, but just in China. I'm sorry, it's hard. Maybe it's because of the DLCs I have installed. I think that would probably be it. Considering I actually got um, Wake of the Tiger and Dead of Dishonor. So what else do we got? We got the Tuesday. Now, one thing I am going to do is actually build up some infrastructure. Play Old World Blues. There we go. Crown the king. All right, come on, Alexander. There we go. Serbia crowns Alexander the second. Look at that, my boy. Since the end of Austria's occupation during the 1920s, Serbia has officially been a kingdom. But basically, it's been like Hungary in like in the interwar years. But never dared to crown a king as 
as they thought to keep a low profile in light of further Austrian aggression. Peter Bovick, re the region of Serbia. Yeah, just think of him. Tamirkov seems like he's the Serbian version of Mikolo Horsi from Hungary. For almost two decades. Yeah, the, I see the similarities here. Royalist has decided to restore the monarchy. Alexander II, son of the king, the former king, Peter I, has accepted the crown, and today was crowned um, king of Serbia. This controversial move is likely to upset the Austrian and Bulgarian government. Yeah, no, I know that. Um, yeah, I like constitutionalism. I don't know. Let's go. Yeah, let's go with democracy. Okay, so I am improving my relationships with Illyria for good reason. It's because, listen, I know what's gonna happen. If I, if you have, I think if you have better relationships with a nation and you do it, and you ask for territory, then there is a more likely chance that you can get that territory from you. Now, Serbia. Serbia's not looking too thick, but I want to make it really thick and change its name to Yugoslavia. Because that didn't cause any problems. Um, yeah, I remember seeing a meme, like, on um, History with Mr. Terry about Tito, and he was like, showing him, um, said, alright, listen, I'll show you how to how to keep Yugoslavia together so you can take over after I die. And it was a picture of a guy on, um, I think, what was it, um, the unicycle? Yeah. Juggling two axes with a chainsaw. Yeah, I think that actually is kind of the way it's so, well, Yugoslavia as a nation, it could have existed in earlier times before nationalism. So we got three governments here. We got the Chang, the Feng Shang government, and the Guangxi federal government that's now fighting the Yunnan clique. Click. Click. Alright. Come on. Come on. I wanna do it. Sorry, I passed the first May 19. Alright, I'm good. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. It's happening. It's happening. United States is about to implode upon itself. So who do we got? So we got the Pacific, the Syndicists, and um, the totally, the totally not Confederate States of America. And then we got um, yeah, boy, boy, I got big balls because I defeated Japan, Douglas MacArthur. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh god. Louis. Oh Minnesota. Um, North Carolina. Tennessee. Come on. Come on, Pacific States. Take Nevada. You get Las Vegas. That's like so much money streams. Oh yeah, what about Hawaii? They usually break away. Oh yes, find syndicates. Uh, yeah, I can see why playing as the United States Civil War is kind of fun. I have seen one game where the leader of the Pacific States actually becomes um, well, one of the presidents of the Pacific States of America does become president of the U.S. and thus they don't have to fight the Pacific States. Oh no, the American Union states lost Southern Texas. But, I mean, at least they have Florida. They, have, they will have armies of Florida men ready to destroy them. Oh, wait, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, Serbia. So, apparently, oh my. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. Here we go. 
are getting interesting. I'm just surprised. South America usually in Hawaii 4 is like the least interesting place unless you have mods and stuff. Oh, what? Okay then. So things have, so countries have been formed. It's the Peru Bolivian Confederation. Um, if anyone lives in either Peru or Bolivia and is watching this video, could you please tell me what, what was, what it was? Or at least, actually tell me what's it like living there. I've heard a lot, in a lot of, um, South American nations, like, it isn't great. Especially in countries like Venezuela. Ven Venezuela. Or, or Brazil, well that just... Wait, what? Paraguay had a coup? Oh my god. Oh no, it can't. Oh no, it can't. Oh yes, we can do it. Congress of Belgrade, let's get our own faction. Oh, oh hopefully, oh. The US is getting gang banned. Or United States. Susan, no, I didn't mean to say the curse word. go full in just by myself invading Bulgaria. That's a good Open the Congress. Oh no, Germany. Alright, Greece, Bulgaria. Yes, Together for peace? <laughs> no! Together against white Germany's Greece. Okay, this is our um, super elaborate plan. I call it warp. I call it operation. What what operation could this thing be called? Um, operation Bang Bang Bulgaria. There you go. It's the greatest name for an operation I've ever come up with. Hashtag Gang Bang Bulgaria. Oh, Albania. Wait, they exist. Really? I didn't know that! The what has been restored? The what? Oh my god, yes, it's your boy! Kirill... The first of the Russian Empire. Oh god, it's back. Wait, what is Albania? Give me a sec. So, I got extensive conscription. I gotta do the Slavic Federation, so it's gonna take some time. Then, basically say to Bulgaria, then throw Bulgaria under the bus and fight them. It's a genius plan, don't worry. It's gonna, it's gonna work. It's, it's perfect. There's no way it can fail. Said every leader before a terrible invasion. 
how many examples could I give? Just like everyone in the beginning of World War One. But oh, don't worry, it will be over quick. It'll be over by like Christmas. Yeah, that was a lie. Liar. Infrastructure looking like it's improving to an extent. It's becoming a lot better than it used to be, so or at least I can transport my troops easier. Argentina's getting names. Shit king. I need I mean they're getting their butt kicked. Um what's Spain doing? Usually the king this guy, Alfonso, falls into a coma. Imagine if you're him. Like, you fall into a coma, then a little while later, you wake up, and then it's like, uh, your majesty, there's a, your country's in a civil war. Yeah, that would not be, um, that wouldn't be fun. That would not be fun, that's like the understatement of the year. Just wake up, oh, uh, great, I have to fight a civil war now. Yay. Oh my god, huh? So apparently Liberia has some claims on a lot of territory. Getting um, destroyed by both sides. The Jing Jing Zhang is um well they're defeating East Turkestan and China's just overall in this. We got um another a government that claims to be the legitimate one, Feng Zhang. You got another government that claims to be the legitimate one. And then you got another one, and then you got a bunch of warlords all over. China, even some independent countries. Now, Slavic Federation. I do get. So, I could go for Greater Serbia, but I'm gonna go with this. I could ask an area to give me their stuff, or I could take their stuff. Other way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna first ask for territory and then territory. I've seen this approach 56 in the exact same thing that happened
most likely Bulgaria is gonna say no to me asking them for their land. Oh wait a second. Oh yeah, it's New England. A new nation, the Americas. So let's take a look. What nations do we have of the former United States territory? We have the Commune of Hawaii. Puerto Rico, what happened to them? Uh, they got seized by, um, by the West Indies Federation. Panama Canal was seized by Panama. Combined syndicates are now fighting the American Union state, the United States, well, what's left of the United States, the Pacific states. The only real state that they have, I guess, full control over are a few. They got, um, New Mexico and Alaska. That's all they got. Meanwhile, New England's been established by Canada as an independent, air quote, that's their state. Yep, they're gonna do it. Alright, let's do it. More ball, more. Okay. And there we go. So one we have to capture this and don't know. Oh hi, thanks, Russia. Okay. Two two war plan go. Just go, get get.
Oh. Worse. I mean, Jim and me say this could be far worse. 